بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum dear viewers welcome to youth hour apnar shobai ke shagoto ami sakuddin and with me today we have amazing guest uh, UKB champion Amran Hussain, welcome to our show. Assalamu alaikum, yes. Assalamu alaikum to you, Zoe Sapai. Right thank, you for, thank you for having me on the show. Alhamdulillah. And we have uh, a running man, we call him <laughs> MFA Jamanabai. Welcome to our show. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, uh, Isaac. Bhai. Thanks for inviting um, me, and it's, I feel really honored to come here and to join with you and with your team. Fantastic. You know, um, I've met uh, Jamanabai a few uh, months ago, actually. Amazing stuff he does, especially you know. You done your second marathon, haven't you? Yes, I have done my second marathon this year, and so far actually I have done two London marathon, which is 26.2 miles, and uh, 10 half marathon to help the disabled kids who are involved with the sports. And um, Amran, I know a lot of things about you know you, but I don't know where to start from. <laughs> so you've been defending your championship for how many times? You um, well, I won this title about two and a half years ago. And I've defended it after winning. I've defended it successfully four times. Dear viewers, ask me about topic we love now. Summer holidays. I'm under a lot of young people. They're not that keen on this. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to the end of the month. So we will talk about our experience and if you want to share it, if you want to share it, if you want to share it, you can call us live and share your views. And obviously, on our own, we will not enjoy it. Today's topic is summertime. Or summer holidays, you can say. You know, most of us are still young. I'm not that young yet. <laughs> so, um, in that free time, you know, sometimes it can be really boring if you don't do anything. So, what kind of issues do you think the young people face, or what did you face? Can I start with Emran? Well, when you ask me about summertime now, when I think about it, it seems like for me such a long time ago. Even though it wasn't, because I haven't had summer holidays in a long time. But from what I remember. Um, Summer holidays is a time when children, they don't have any responsibility, school responsibility anymore. So they've got free time to go and enjoy themselves and do what they want. Um, and sometimes there's not a lot for them to do. So I remember when I was young, it was always I wanted to go out and play with my friends. So that could be playing football, just hanging around. But um, that can sometimes lead to boredom and that boredom can lead to getting into trouble or doing things they shouldn't be doing. So I think the main thing is with the six weeks holiday comes a lot of extra free time and it's what do they do with their free time now. And if there isn't, for example, um, like school days takes up most of the day, there's only a couple of hours left after school. So there's not a lot of time. But when there's some holidays now, there's a lot more time. So it's what are they doing with their time? Do they have something constructive to do? Are they just sitting around at home playing games? Are they going out, messing around on the street? Or even some of the youth as we know it, they could be smoking, mm -hmm. taking drugs, and that's probably the side which you don't want your kids to go on. But you have to take into consideration when you're young, you don't really know what's right and wrong. You think you do, but you think, Oh, it's okay, it's, it's not too bad, I'll try this, or I'll try that, and eventually it leads from one thing to another. So I think that's the main thing, trying to find something that your child f likes and encouraging them to take part in that as opposed to having too much free time in the summer where they don't know what they're doing or what they should be doing really. So how did you, um, as a young man, when you were well, talking about your school age, I'm assuming, yes. so how did you overcome that? How, how was your experience? What is your experience? Um, well, I didn't start boxing until I was about 14. So 14, that's usually the age when kids start to go off the rails if they are going to, because you're at that age now where you're not quite an adult, but you're getting to young adulthood and you've got more options. So at that time, that's when I did start the boxing and I was training not too much, maybe a couple of days a week. But those couple of days a week, I'd be going for running in the mornings 
So, and it was a group of us, it was friends from the local area. So it wasn't just myself initially, it was with friends. So the fact that I had friends which I made in the gym and some that I knew from outside the gym training with me as well, it was, it was doing some, something constructive. So it wasn't just hanging around. So we might do a bit of training, then afterwards we might go get some food. And then afterwards we had training in the evening. So that sort of, and because he was training, try, try and get fitter, we would try to avoid things that were sort of harmful to our health. So if there was anyone who was smoking at the time, they would try not to smoke because they know it's not going to help them get fit. Um, little, little things like that, even just food wise, you try and eat a little bit healthier, not go to PFC every day like <laughs> you would. I remember when I was younger, I used to love going to PFC every day. Now when I think back, I think, how did I do that? It's sort of physically, my body wouldn't agree with it now. But at that age, you can do a lot more different things, even though it's not that long ago for me, but it's quite a big difference. And I think that's what you sort of, you need to remember, even though they're sort of young teens, their bodies are very different. They have a lot more energy. They can do a lot more things. So just ha being busy for a couple of hours, having something to do for a couple of hours, isn't gonna be sufficient. They need something to constantly keep them engaged Fantastic. and to keep them away. Some incentive, really, to you keep them away. You know what, you sound very mature, even <laughs> more than me, inshallah. Oh, thank you. Food. Let me, I'll come back to you. Uh, Zaman Bhai, tell me about your um, holidays and um, what did you face that six weeks? I'm sure it's a long time, six weeks yeah. is a long time. <coughs> it's a long time, uh, but uh, while I was a student uh, in school life, and especially in the school life, I was really waiting for my holiday time because I want to come out from uh, you know, the school and college and this uh, study life. And first of all, I think the next day I went, I went to visit my all my Nana's house and Khala's house, my auntie's house. And uh, they are waiting for me actually. And it was really great time actually. I really miss those time. And same time actually, I used to go with my cousin brothers. We are young, we have a big group. We used to play, we go different place. And when I went to college and this thing, I do lots of cycling actually. And the summertime, what I used to do, we have a group of friends, we go different places, cycling, few hours. And obviously it helps me to keep myself fit also. And not only that, we go different place, like nice place. And same time we have learned actually. actually. And um, the thing and the other things like spend most lots of time with my family, my friends. So, because all of the year, most of the year, we are so busy, we don't have time to see each other. We visit our friends' house, our family's How house. How old were you then? What age are you talking about? Yeah, uh, this I'm talking about like between uh, 10 to 15, okay. you know, this time. I was really actually active. Okay. And um, I like to go with my, most of my friends and my family members, they know me actually, because summertime, when I have a holiday time, I used to go to their house, you know, we spend time. and. They think, uh, I think almost all things this brother Imran, he covered. Uh, this is the big time for the youth, especially the, our young generation nowadays, nowadays. And if you go back 10, 15 years back, we didn't have that much nowadays. They all the time sit at home and they're playing games and all these things. So all are busy, even they are home. But that time we didn't have like this. So what we did, we tried to, we tried to utilize our time. So like spend time with the family, we spend time in the sports club. I do lots of run and other activities. I did all these things, and I'll, and also, obviously, we came out from that from the, our education. But that time, we did lots of our part-time education, and this thing actually encouraged me and helped me to learn lots of things. And I would say, to uh, nowadays, because we became so materialistic, you know, so this is this have a like a. The not positive, negative impact. What do you in think the future? issues are nowadays? You know, you guys sound like old school. Not the old, <laughs> but I know. But really um, mature, and you know what you are doing, and you are looking for very positive stuff. But young people nowadays, I'm talking about nowadays, is totally yeah. different. I think uh, this brother touched on a topic there, which I think is very relevant to what you're talking about nowadays. Is it's the fact that mobile phones and mm. especially even games. When I was younger. If you wanted to play games with your friends, they had to come to your house or you had to go to their house. Now, you don't have to do that. You can sit in your house, you can sit in your house, yeah. I can sit in my house and we can talk to each other and play. Yeah. So there's no need to get out of the house anymore or to see each other. 
So I think that's one but reason. But that could be dangerous, you know, that they don't, they're not going out. And staying yeah. at home all the time and doing only talking to one or two person, that could take them, really isolate themselves. It, Can it you imagine after six weeks he only goes out, just like a new world to him, that person? And I want to add another thing. What you said is dangerous. How, do you know how it became dangerous? Because lots of games, you would see the fighting and all these things. And I have realized, I told a few can't families. Help you, all of them, isn't it? Almost yeah. all of them are violent. Yeah, so I told a few families, well, uh, look at it. He's, uh, he's uh, like a uh, kid. Whatever you will give, he will take. And it, like, it's like uh, now it's time to set up his mind. And he's keep watching all these things. His behavior would be like that. So you have to be careful what he's watching, what he's playing. Another thing, I don't know if you notice, everyone's got mobile, isn't it, nowadays, yeah. on the internet, at home. They can watch anything they want, almost. Yeah. That's the biggest problem. Yeah, they've got a they lot more facilities yeah. to... They can ab yeah. abuse the uh, system, like, they will say I'm 18, they will say I'm more than 18, or you know, whatever age. Yeah. He probably, but 13 is quite smart, and then he can go to stuff he shouldn't go. And then, what happens? So this, that's why you know you have to give them some this six week, You have to give them some topics, some activities. You have to do this and that. Otherwise, you know, after a few weeks, because they feel very tired, one week, two weeks, three weeks, they they're really enjoying. But after they became so bored. So what we have to do as a parents, so lots of our your parents, lots of uh, parents, they have to bring them go, you know, some some new place or sports club. There are lots of things, youth club, lots of things going on. Okay, we go call here. Hello, caller. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. I'm trying to turn the television down. Oh, please put, put your television down. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to turn the television down inside. All right, sir. Who's that? Mr. Ken? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Can I, I do hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you see? Can you hear me? Oh, good. Well, Okay, I can think I you still got, uh, Mr. Ken, you still got the volume. Uh, 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 Eric? Yes, sir. I want to uh, go to South End in the near future, when I'm well. All right, all right. Do you have anything to say about you? Good. Do you have any advice for youth? Pardon? Do you have anything to say about the youth? Any advice, yeah, can you see what we're talking about? We're talking about youth life. You know, six weeks holiday, what do they do? Do you have anything to say? Okay. Thank you. Okay. No problem, sir. Yes, yeah, so we were talking about... Um, another thing I find, um, we'll, we'll go out, actually. Home is, uh, sometimes it could be a problem if it's not planned out. If they stay at home, they're going to be isolated from the people. They'll be really less confident because they're not going out. And whole day, they will be, if they're a few brothers and sisters, they'll be just arguing and doing nothing. And mom and dad will be saying, oh my God, six weeks back, <laughs> I'm finished. You know, that's the thing. But another problem here is, if they go out, is it safe? Uh, actually, we can, it's 50-50. It's why do you think it's going. not? First, say why do you think it's not safe, and uh, Emran will say the solution. Why it's, do you think it's not it's safe? It's not safe. Like parents, they don't know where they are going, and who is waiting outside f to invite him this summer holiday, and he has no idea where he's going, where you're gonna meet uh, with you know with someone else. He doesn't know this guy because he's so excited. He wants to do something. He has like uh, it's like as a battery, you know, it's lost new battery, it's lost of charge, so. Wherever you can use with this battery, you can, um, you know, you can uh, run a bike or you can put something in the wrong thing. So it's like it's a battery. So these people, some people, they are using this battery charge on the wrong part, and some of them they are using the right way. So like lots of this brother, he told lots of uh, this time they feel bored, they go and they go join with these gangs and drugs and smoke and, and all these things. And it's feel really sad. Nowadays, I've seen lots of young boys. Young means like their age between 12 to 16 or 17. They're involved with the drugs, gangs, and lots of things, which is not a good sign for our community, especially in the Asian community. And if it would be carry on like that, is we have to think now. Of course. Shamoin to buy one of our friends. Our friends are going to phone us. 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 Our 
আর আমরা যেগুলো বলতেছি আপনি কি এগ্রি করেন যদি এগ্রি করেন মার্শাল্লাহ প্লিজ কল আসেন সে উই ডুইং ওয়েল এন্ড ইফ ইউ ডোন্ট এগ্রি অলসো ইউ ক্যান গিভ ইউর ভিউ ইজ ওয়েল এমরান সো ইফ দিস আর দ্য ইস্যুজ আউটসাইড ইউ ক্যান সি ফর দ্য প্যারেন্টস ভিউ আই মিন উইল বি স্কেয়ার টু গেট আ বয়েজ আউটসাইড উই ডোন্ট নো ওয়েদার গেন এন্ড আপ এন্ড সো হোয়াট ডু ইউ ডু সো গিভ আস আই জাস্ট ওয়ান্ট টু সে ইটস নট all the youth that are getting into trouble or doing the wrong thing so just because your children are going out doesn't mean it's always a bad thing sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad it depends on the individual and i think a lot of it what it is um the they need to be encouraged to do the right things not told we need to remember when you're a young teen you don't like being told what to do and mm-hmm. a lot of us forget that once we become adults or parents you forget what you was like at that age if you want to do something and you're told no you're not allowed it's going to make you want to do it more so what they need to do is they just need to guide them in the correct manner so if you know for example um your child wants to go out with friends to a certain area which you don't think is very safe you saying straight off no you're not allowed to go there that's it finished most likely they because they're still going to go there they're just not going to tell you so the problem now is they're going to places which isn't safe in your mind and you don't know that they're there whereas if you said to them look i know you're going to go to these places i'd rather you didn't but if you are be careful of this this and this and try to stay away from these things and educate them about the dangers instead of sort of restricting them i think that's more likely to make them understand the dangers and be sort of can you give us a can would you give us an example like say you when you were 13 or, or 12 you wanted to go out and positively so with, with respect your parents yeah. said not to go but you didn't understand why it was why they were saying no so you are totally two different world here they're saying no and you want to go out how do you did you have a situation like that um i did to a certain extent for example um as a parent they us- usually you like to know where your child is so you might say to them okay you can play but only behind the building in the park where i can see where you i can see you okay okay and that's fair enough from parents point of view you want to s- be able to look out see your child is there and they're safe but you have to understand once when maybe when they're 7 8 9 it's okay but once they become 13 14 they want to be a little bit more adventurous they want to explore a little bit more we just got a caller here hello assalam alaikum assalam wa alaikum assalam bhaiya kon jaate hain phone kar sun apne and what's your name i'm calling from wakefield my name is hussein i i've literally just tuned in a uh, couple of minutes uh, before um have actually been allowed to speak on the studio Okay thank you brother we said our topic is uh, we're talking about the youth in the six week what they're doing what kind of um, uh, issues can be can be raised and um, if you would please say your view would be fantastic Yeah sure I, I, the main issue I'd like to address is social media and I think um the brother uh, one of the brothers who in the studio has been talking about how uh, the parents can either sanction whether they go out or not I think nowadays uh, we grew up in a different generation the youth nowadays can learn about the whole world at their fingertips and it's actually what goes on at home which is key which is essential to the development of the youth in uh, nowadays I think you know with Instagram people children are and um, youth in general that very much impressionable when you're 13 to 18 that psychologists say that's when someone's personality is actually generated and it's that that age that you know hormones are raging they want to go out all the time and they want to try the new things as well isn't it it's more exciting for them well yeah i mean the, the thing is they get to a stage where the 13 14 they've grown up they've had a growth spurt uh, they are young adults and they should be treated as such but i'm going to go back to my point where social media is barack obama said look information is is the the key to filtering information is 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 um 
going to develop you, okay? You're, you're subjected to a lot of data, a lot of information nowadays, and it's about filtering it. In the same way, to develop youth, you know, they should be visiting the right websites, the right information. And they should be, they should have a network with the right, um, right people. And I think um, the parents should definitely be more interested in that. The, the parents nowadays, they just allow their kids to have phones, to have iPads, and that's it. They, they, don't, know, they don't have a clue. Well, to be honest, they don't even know how to use one of the apps. I know, that's the problem. Night, night. Brother Hassan, that's the problem actually. We are letting our kids have anything they want without... Yes. It's just free access, isn't it? It's, it's oh, so what's your main access. point, my brother? What's your uh, main point, please? So, yeah, I mean, I'm, the main point is social media. I mean, that's, 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 that's a key uh, issue. Of course. I think, you know, it's, it's leading to radicalization with some people. You're and right. We've seen it in, you, you can take us high, also you can take us down, isn't it? If you know, use it carefully. Yeah. Thank yeah, you yeah. very much. Thanks for your call, my friend. Um, please watch us and see um, how we're doing. Okay, I think he got a good point, actually. Yes, we are giving our kids an um, iPad or iPhone and giving it to them. And even if we don't, if we don't um, see what they're doing, actually, this can lead us to... Another. Okay. Um, so we were talking about a lot of issues and how do we, can I ask you before, um, you know, you are a champion of UK <laughs> <laughs> uh, BU, lightweight. Yes, British lightweight champion. That, that's an that's a, a amazing show us to our viewers. Definitely. So this is the title that I won about two and a half years ago and it was a very, very tough fight for, for me to win this. Amazing, but you still have it. I How many defended it? How many uh, you got? Um, after winning it, I successfully defended it four times. Wow. Inshallah, he's we'll see another Muhammad Ali <laughs> in our community. <laughs> you know, he's, he's a dangerous thing. Boxing is dangerous, isn't it? He it is, is dangerous. Yes, but it's not always a dangerous thing. But it's also a very fun thing. Would you like to g tell us about boxing? Um, you is that boxing? what you've touched on there? Boxing is, is a dangerous sport, but only if it's not respected. And the thing you'll find in boxing is that a lot of the boxers or people who take part in the sport understand this and are very respectful people because you can't enter into boxing. It's like you'll see usually what will happen is, like I said, youth. It happens a lot. You get young teenagers, they'll come into a boxing gym and because they've been having fights on the street and they think they're a local hard nut or whatever it is, they'll come into the gym thinking, yeah, I can beat people up, etc. They'll get into the ring and because they don't have respect for their opponent or the person they're sparring with, they get hurt. Because what they don't realize is you need a controlled aggression in boxing. It's not about having strength and being aggressive. It's about using your brain, use controlling your aggression, using your skill, which is what the way I look at it. I look at boxing as an art form. Of course, but also it's got, it's got a healthy lifestyle. Like you also have to look after said, yourself. People sort of, You've be people look over that side where when you just see two people fighting in the ring when you think of boxing. But what happens before that? There's a long period where they're preparing to put themselves in that position. So in order for you to do that, you need to get your body ready. You need to get yourself mentally ready. You can't lot of people you can't just step into the ring and fight if i said to this brother here let's get in the ring and want to fight now you'd be thinking oh god straight away mentally your mind starts going everywhere so you need to prepare yourself to control your aggression for example i used to have a bit of a temper when i was younger it's a very short temper but since i've been boxing and i've been in a lot of situations on the street where someone's been abusive or tried to start a fight and I could have very easily went, hit them, maybe one or two punches and knocked them out. But in my mind, I control it. I know there's no need for me to do this because what do I achieve from this? What does it get? I don't need someone on the street or other people to look at me and say, oh, he can beat someone up. For me, that's not achieving anything. If anything, it will harm me as an athlete. Um, it will harm me if something happens and then I can get done for assault that could ruin my career, 
uh, my license can be stripped, my title can be stripped from me. So there's more to lose, and boxing teaches you about respect okay. and control. Um, Jamal Bay, um, we were talking about a lot of things actually about the youth. Um, we need to find a solution, isn't it? Like if, if they're staying at home, parents need to look after them. When they go out, also they need to be aware of where they are, but they also need to be give them a bit more space as well. So we got one minute before the break. Would you uh, like just to? I just want to say the brother Hussein, he called about the social media. It's like as a, anything like nowadays, like as a fire. We, with the fire, you can cook some nice curry or you can burn lots of things. So it's different. How do you use it? How okay. do you utilize it? So everything has a, some limit and we have to, we, we shouldn't cross this limit. We let them use, but we have to look at our eyes, what they're doing, what they're using and these things. And we have to be friendly with okay. our kids. So we're going to come back after the break. Uh, the one by you're going to go be off someone else coming and then okay. we'll come to see you again. Dear viewers, uh, I'll see you after the break, inshallah. And stay with us. Asalaamu As Alaikum.